a deep sense of shock and fear engulfs Uganda's LGBTQ community. Their way of life turned on its head after Tuesday's anti-homosexuality bill was passed in parliament. The new law has drawn the ire of the Western world. It would impinge upon universal human rights, jeopardize progress in the fight against HIV AIDS. Human rights chiefs meanwhile argue the bill could give license to incite harm upon one another. It will render lesbian, gay and bisexual people in Uganda criminals simply for, for being who they are and for existing. Under the bill, people caught having gay sex would face life in prison. So-called aggravated homosexuality, used to describe gay sex committed without consent or against children, would be punishable by death. The legislation also outlaws even identifying as LGBTQ, inciting fear from rights advocates. I don't know if there are going to be concentration camps or rehabilitation centers that are so uh, discriminatory because many people are going to be internally displaced. Uganda was already notorious for intolerance of homosexuality, which has been criminalized since the colonial era. Discussions leading up to the vote were also laced with homophobic rhetoric as lawmakers conflated sexual abuse with consensual same-sex activity between adults. We are making to reinforce the law enforcement officers to make sure that homosexuals have no space in Uganda. It's a position reflected on the streets of Kampala, as many locals on Wednesday expressed their support for the bill. God created man and woman, and we cannot accept one sex to, to go on, a, on the same sex. It is okay, because I can't see a, such a child of mine doing such a thing. The new legislation will now be sent to President Yoweri Museveni, who will choose whether to sign it into law. But some analysts say Uganda's leader may prove reluctant to repeat history and avoid damaging his country's reputation in the eyes of foreign investors and donors.